Our bodies are made up of DNA. Did you know that DNA is a treasure trove of information? We just have to go fishing for it in the right way. I'm Andrew Chapman, and we're taking an extremely close look at DNA to see infection, cancer, and even developmental biology today in the lab. I'm here with Erica. Erica, what's your job here in the lab? I'm a genetics lab technologist. Wow, amazing. And you work with this ish fish test that I've heard about? Yes. What does that mean? It stands for fluorescent in situ hybridization, which is where we take a fluorescent probe, we hybridize it and anneal it to a known chromosome genetic sequence, and then we can visualize it down the fluorescent light microscope. Wow, and what kind of information are you looking for? We're looking for deletions, translocations, numerical aberrations, and amplifications at a chromosomal level. And why are you looking for this kind of thing? Most of the tests that come through here, since we're a prognostic lab instead of diagnostic, the doctors are aware of what they're asking for. So when they send us something for diffuse large B-cell lymphoma, we know they're specifically looking for a set of three probes, MYC, BCL2, and BCL6. The same goes for a lot of other panels that they request from us. What kind of samples do you get to run this test? We get paraffin embedded tissues, bloods and bone marrows, and occasionally we get a biopsy that we have to culture. Wow. So once you get the sample here in the lab, what's the next step? Well, once we receive the sample and accession it, for paraffins, we deparaffinize the slide, which means melting the wax off. And then we put it through a series of Coplin jars, which ends up digesting the nuclear membrane around the chromosomes, at which point we can use the fluorescent probe with the known genetic code, and we can denature the DNA, hybridize our fluorescent probe, and then re-anneal the DNA together and visualize it under the microscope. Wow, that's a lot of steps. Yes, it's a very hands-on protocol. How long does that take? It takes anywhere from about four to five hours, depending on the number of slides. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, or learn more about what happens in the lab, please visit medlabprofessionals.ca.